Hello everyone, this is Chrissy with Everyday Tidbits. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have four easy recipes for you that are budget friendly and only take a few ingredients. The first recipe I have for you is crockpot pork chops with potatoes and gravy. I purchased my meat at Costco, which is a money saving hack. You can buy this big pack of pork chops, nine in a pack for $9. So I paid about a dollar per pork chop. I'm gonna start out by putting my pot on the saute function and then I'm going to slice up an onion while that warms up. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pot and when that heats up, I'm going to sear both sides of my pork chops. After searing the pork chops, I'm going to remove them to a plate and reserve all those juices that are coming off of it. Once they're out of the pan, I'm going to add my onion that's been sliced up and I'm going to saute the onion. Once your onion begins to soften, the moisture in the pot will be great to scrape off those brown bits off the bottom from searing your pork chops and that will add a lot of flavor to the pot. And now it's time to build our gravy base. To do this, we're going to use one can of cream of chicken soup, one can of water, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon, one packet of ranch seasoning, and some dried parsley. Add your pork chops back into the pot with all that juice that accumulated in the plate and make sure you coat your pork chops with that delicious gravy. And now it's time to add in your potatoes. I'm using baby Yukon potatoes. You can actually use any type of potatoes that you want. If you're using the larger potatoes, I would cut them into bite-sized pieces so that they all cook evenly and at the same time that your pork chops were going to cook. Set your pot to the slow cooker function and then cover it and cook it on low for five hours. Here's what it looked like when it was done. This was so good. We served it with this market side cherry almond gorgonzola salad from Walmart and it was perfect. The next recipe I have for you is queso chicken. To our Instant Pot, we are adding one pound of chicken breast, one can of Rotel, one packet of taco seasoning, one cup of water, and one teaspoon of chicken bouillon. Set your Instant Pot to pressure and cook it on high for 8 minutes for thawed chicken and 12 minutes for frozen chicken. My chicken was partially frozen, so I cooked mine at 12 minutes. When the cook time is up, allow a natural pressure release for 10 minutes. And now it's time to shred your chicken and add the queso.
Set your pot to saute just to heat through the queso and then you'll be ready to eat. This chicken queso is very versatile as far as you can fill it in a burrito, you can put it in a taco, you can make a quesadilla out of it, or you can eat it in a bowl just like this. I did have some leftover naan bread, so that's what I served on the side of mine, but the possibilities are endless and this is delicious. The next recipe I have for you is pasta with meat sauce. Set your pot to saute and when it comes up to temperature, add a little bit of olive oil and saute your ground beef. Add a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic and then cook it in your meat for a few minutes before adding your tomato sauce. Add in a 28 ounce jar of your favorite tomato sauce. Mine is Rayo's. I got this at Costco as well. And as you can see, my tripod fell, whoops. Then you're gonna add in two cups of water and two teaspoons of beef bouillon. We're going to add in eight ounces of pasta. I'm using a half a pound of rigatoni, as you can see. And when you dump this into your slow cooker, you do not want to stir it too much. You want the pasta to sit on top so it doesn't sink to the bottom and give you a burn notice. So make sure that you just lay it in and so it's just submerged in the pot. Set the pot to pressure and cook it on high for five minutes. We will be serving this meal tonight with Texas toast and I'm cooking it in the toaster oven at 400 for 8 minutes. After your 5 minutes of cooking time is up, you want to do a quick release. And this step is optional, but I did add a little bit of Parmesan cheese into the pot and mix it through. And here's what it looks like when it was done. It was so delicious and on the table in 15 minutes. The last recipe I have for you is cheesy crock pot chicken and rice. I am mixing two cups of instant white rice in a bowl with two cans of condensed cheddar cheese soup and one can of cream of chicken soup. You can season this any way you'd like. I'm using a little bit of seasoned salt and pepper. The next step is to cut your chicken breasts into bite-sized pieces. If you do have thick breasts like these, I cut them in half first, and then I cut them down into the bite-sized pieces. everything into your crock pot. I did add a little bit of dried parsley, then I'm going to cover it and since my chicken breast is partially frozen, I'm cooking it on high anywhere from five to six hours. I will check it halfway in between to see what the status of the chicken is, but if your chicken is thoroughly defrosted, you should only need about four hours for this dish.
And here's what it looks like when it was done. This was delicious and so easy and quick to make. I had some shredded cheese in the refrigerator, so I just added a little bit on top, and it was really, really good. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. If you make any of these recipes, please let me know in the comments how you liked it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, it's everyday underscore tidbits. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube and Instagram family. I hope everyone's being safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.